Hey guys, Frost here, welcome back. As you might know, some of the old add-ons from our channel, like the Simple UI, or in general add-ons that used to work on private servers will no longer work for the classic WoW launch. And um, during my playtime on the beta on, and on the stress test, I managed to gather a couple of add-ons that will look similar to Mod UI, uh, at least on the foundation level. So uh, in order for me to have a ready for the launch a pack of add-ons that will help me to play i decided to share this with you there, there's going to be a link in the description a github link and um, i guess let's just go over it and see what we got so far uh, those add-ons are pretty much bug free uh, as i tested them and uh, hopefully you would like them as well so uh, you go to the github link you press download download zip you unzip them and here you have the fonts as well the fonts i'm using i'm using the font called prototyping game and the add-on pack first thing you want to do you want to copy the fonts you go to where your uh, game is installed uh, classic so i also change it here i'm not sure exactly what you need to change it so i change this one and go to the classic folder and also put the fonts here paste Normally you would, would not have a fonts folder, but you just put it here. Then you go to the add-ons, you copy all the add-ons inside from the link. You put them into interface, add-ons, and uh, voila. As soon as you've done this, you log. Well, this is still the stress, stress test. By the time you watch this video, stress test might not be available, but they're so easy to configure as you actually they're already configured but they just need some tweaking so even if you do it in the launch day it's gonna be easy you press play you log into the game and when you log into the game you might get a uh, message with uh, load out of date add-ons or something uh, you do load anyway and you do okay you go to add-ons you make sure uh, the load out of date add-ons is checked press ok you log into the game and uh, from here it's gonna be easy as soon as you log in uh, you, we already have a look that it's similar to mod ui as you can see the black borders the black minimap the font with from mod ui and the only problem i see here is that the ui is scaled too big for my interface so depending on your screen of course and your preference you can go to system advanced and then you check ui scale you go wherever you want i like to keep it quite small as i have a big screen as i said apply and this is how i play with it then the we don't have a move anything add-on in this pack but the blizzard ui add-on uh, unit frames you can go to right click on them unlock frame unlock the target of target flame frame and you can put it everywhere you want if you can put it like this just uh for example make sure to go back to move frame and put buffs on top if you want to keep it somehow like this uh, i do prefer to keep them somewhere on the left and the right of my character maybe even lower sometimes depends um you have a classic cast bar the default one there is an option with those uis to put the cast bar underneath like here but I do prefer to have my cast bar in the middle now as soon as you've done this you can lock them and lock the other one make sure you align them perfectly probably they're not perfectly aligned here but I don't have time I need to level fast uh, moving on you go to escape add-ons the first add-on it's a bar i don't really need it for a mage but what this add-on does it's slash a bar and you can see the commands there uh, we can do slash a bar unlock and this is a weapon swing timer you can put it wherever you want and uh, it will show your cooldown uh, on the weapon swing timer then you can uh, do slash uh, a bar lock and you have a swing timer second add-on is auctionator 
I did not manage to find a version of Ox, if anyone knows it, if the Ox add-on got developed or if will get developed, please let me know and maybe we can make this add-on pack better as a community. Uh, it's going to help you with leveling, with selling stuff, with g gaining some ex extra gold, so it's really nice to have an auction house add-on. Uh, then we have the class portraits. As you can see, we can see instead of the 3D icon, we can see the class icon. So might you want to like it, so you just click on it and do a reload UI. And uh, voila, there you have the classic 3D portraits. Uh, it's a matter of preference. The next add-on we have here, it's Elite Player Frame Enhanced. And uh, this one goes with slash APC from Elite Player Frame. And you do mode, APC mode, and they have modes from 1 to 7. Right now I'm having 2, which is a rare Elite. If we did 3, it was a rare 2. This is a rare Elite. If we do slash uh, APC mode uh, 4, it's uh, a r Elite slash APC mode uh, 5 Dead Knight Alliance slash APC mode uh, 6 um, Dead Knight Horde slash APC mode 7 I think it's a Demon Hunter oh thank you for the buff slash APC uh, 4 it's my choice no slash APC mode 3 Rare Elite it's the one I prefer uh, it's a matter of preference for you as well uh, let's move to the next one Leatrix map what this does um, it makes your map not to be full screen right not only that but it uh, are reveals parts of the map that you didn't discover yet as you can see those are with a shade but you can see where to go right where you have the quests prior to discovering them the second thing it does um, you can do slash LTM LTM from Leatrix map and uh, you can rescale the map which is I like it so much uh, as you can see we I normally probably would play with with the map at 70% but just for the sake of this video I use I use it at 80% I think it's more than enough to see what's happening around me when I move and uh, to be able to keep a consistent gameplay I guess I don't know uh, the second thing you want to check, it's fade. If you want the map to fade, right now it's at 50%. So you can actually see players through it when you move. I do like to keep it at 100%, so fuck it. At least I can see on the sides when I'm moving. I'm not going to fall out of a bridge or something. Um, I guess it's a very useful add-on. Let's move on. Uh, we have a Lord TUI. Lord TUI, it's the add-on that darkens your screen, your minimap, your uh, unit frames and so on. It's basically the replacements for mod UI. I did manage to find a version of mod UI, but it's not really finished yet. It looks different. It has a BFA UI and uh, I'm waiting for the guy to, to finish it well, to make it better and maybe we'll change it in the future. Then we have Omni CC, which are cooldowns duration for your spells, as you can see on my Frost Nova right here on the bar. Uh, simple map, it's actually similar to Leatrix map. I <laughs> There were some problems with them, one was working, one was not, but right now uh, after I have updated them, both of them are working. I have them both enabled, but you can just uh, cancel simple minimap and reload UI if you want. Moving on, Tiny Tooltip. Tiny Tooltip. Uh, has a lot of options, probably used it back in. First of all, it puts uh, your tooltip on the mouse and it enhances it. <coughs> it gets enhanced as well. Uh, you can see, you see the color of the mob, the level, and on other mobs you get more details. If you get mob info, add-on or something, uh, on players you get a bit more info. You get the class color, you get the level, you get the guild as well. I'm not sure if I can find the guild. Oh, there we go. You get the guild, uh, the position in the guild, the target of target, the faction, class icon, and even a 3D model. This can be com configured from uh, escape interface. And you go to add-ons, tiny tip, and here you can uh, probably remove it from uh, 
the, the cursor and put it here or remove the 3d elements and so on I do like it like this to be honest so I have no problem uh, trinket menu of course uh, it's hidden here be on the clock you know trinket menu I mean you're not gonna use it in the beginning but it's gonna get very useful when you start uh, getting trinkets at level 40 and so on exchanging them maybe if you're leveling engineering or so on um, you can make key binds uh, lock it show it and so on and the quest addon uh, that's working very nice. It's gonna be get very useful for you if you don't know where the quests are so you don't open uh, another website to look it up. I did not manage to find uh, a version of uh, vanilla guide but I would really recommend to go on Google and search for Joanna's leveling guide on Twitch not on Twitch on Joanna's world and um, Keep this on a second screen. If you don't have a second screen, you can just alt tab. You choose your horde or alliance zones. Uh, he only has alliance guides up to level 40, but it's very easy to follow. Horde 112. There we go. It starts with. Uh, you know, we have 112 Durotar, Mulgor, Tiris Glades. There we go. Let's start with this one, assuming we're playing an undead. It shows you exactly the place to go. The quest to take the order of them to take and in case you need uh, an item prior to taking the quest it will tell you to pick it up as well very useful and uh, combined with the questy i think uh it's gonna work just fine so keep this in mind too i think this this is it for the add-ons uh we're going to add more add-ons in the future uh, I want to make this as a community pack. If you guys find old add-ons from the pack that are updated, such as ring menu or cooldowns or CC watch or uh, ox auction auction house add-on, please let me know. We can make this pack better and use it for the community. Now, there are a couple of things you can uh, tweak on this. Like you can see the Griffin bars. There's no option to remove them because they're not serving any purpose and I would like a clean UI and I didn't manage to come uh, over one command here it's uh, run main menu bar I'm gonna put it in the description as well of the video and uh, you just do it and it hides the griffins as you can see it already looks better and it creates more space you can drag your DPS meter or your I don't know your damage meter and DPS meter on one side and maybe if you get a nice chat add-on that removes the chat uh, arrows you can even drop it down here and create a full uh, view spectrum I don't know, clean the UI let's say like that so I'm going to drop the the command too there are a couple of other things you might want to do when you log in classic well, there are a couple of commands that I have here first of all uh, console ffx glow zero this one um, sometimes when you go to balance you'll find the ground and the mountains to be too orange to a point where uh, your eyes will hurt so you add this command and automatically it will get your game darker uh, not necessarily darker it will remove some of that intense coloring if you want to put it back it's console ffx glow uh, one the next a uh, command it's what weather density uh when i played on the stress session in the beta when it was raining the rain was so intense that you were barely able to see like 50 yards away if you do the co command slash console weather density zero you will be able to play with no problem during a uh, rain uh, time it's not to a point where it gets annoying you can barely see it so weather density zero trust me if you know this command you'll take me later and we have another one console that effect zero um this one uh, when you die your screen won't be white right black and white it will be colored but still a bit transparent so you do slash console that effect zero and uh voila i guess um this is it I'm going to try to update this pack in the future if I find better working add-ons but the problem with the add-ons right now is that they're really buggy 
These are the add-ons that I found out to be less buggy, easy to set up, no problems, just focus on your leveling. And uh, to be frankly honest, it has everything you need. It has um, the Questy, it has the Auction House add-on, it has good looks, simplicity and so on. Um, maybe the things that are lacking, it's a bag add-on or something, but um, I can play with like this, uh, I find it okay. Tell me what you think about it, tell me what do you think it's missing, tell me if you found out about add-ons that we had in our old packs that uh, are missing from this one, and um, I hope this will help you because I really am happy that I managed to make something that I enjoy for the launch, and I hope you will enjoy it too. Thank you very much for watching, until next time, stay frosty.